This is Sarah Mikesell with thecropsite.com, and today we're here with Luke James with Ag Leader Technology. Uh, Luke, tell us a little bit about Ag Leader and what you guys do. Uh, sure. We're a precision ag company based in Ames, Iowa. Uh, we're a privately owned, independently run company. Uh, we've been doing precision ag for over 20 years. Our owner, Al Myers, uh, originally invented the yield monitor in 1992, which was the real first piece of precision equipment that was actually giving growers a reading of what was happening out in the field. So since then, you know, we've evolved into um, a complete solution precision ag company. We offer hardware solutions and online for harvest, but for planting, for spraying, for fertilizing, uh, guidance, as well as desktop software applications for analyzing data and making management decisions off of that information. You know, our total package of solutions provides uh, values for the grower, so they're, they're going to save them more money or they're going to make them more money by allowing them to make decisions off of their information and then implement those decisions out in the field. So it's about increasing that grower's profitability. So um, we're obviously here at a conference uh, in, the, in the USA. Can you talk a little bit about precision ag uptake and what you've seen in the U.S. and then globally um, based on the, you know, I know you guys are a global company, obviously. So what are you seeing in other parts of the world? Sure, sure. Um, that's a good question. Uh, we've, you know, we've, we've been an international player for a while. Um, we've realized the potential um, for, for our products and for other precision products in those markets. Uh, you know, we started out, we were based in Iowa, so we're an Iowa company. We had Iowa type, Midwestern type products, and they just happened to adapt to some of the other countries. Um, within the last few years, we've opened an office up in the Netherlands, an office up in Australia, and an office up in South America. And we're starting to tailor our products more to those markets. Um, in Europe, for example, you've got a lot smaller fields than you have in the United States, and there's a lot more government regulations or stringent reporting. Um, they can only apply so much fertilizer at one time. So, um, for example, crop sensing is huge in Europe uh, due to their, their restrictions on how much fertilizer and nitrogen they can put on. So maybe a wheat farmer will do five different applications of nitrogen, and it's extremely important that that nitrogen that they put on is well allocated across the field to optimize those results. Um, you get into Eastern Europe, they're a little bit bigger farms, um, similar to the United States, maybe in size, maybe a little bigger, um, and they're just uh, really, they've got a ton of opportunity for precision ag because they can utilize all the same technologies we're using here. You know, they're starting to grow more corn there. They're growing other row crops, you know, to feed those countries. Um, you get into South America and you have vast, huge fields. Like in the United States, maybe you've got a 160-acre field that's pretty large. South America, you've got a 1,600-acre field or maybe even bigger than that. Um, the challenges there are, you know, transportation is a huge issue in South America because their infrastructure isn't up to date to handle maybe all the grain that they need to move. Um, you've got scouting, you've got larger fields, so the site specific management maybe isn't quite what it is in the U.S., but it's moving that direction and they're, um, they're, they're implementing some of the same precision ag um, techniques that we are. Very good. Well, thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. This is Sarah Mikesell for thecropsite.com.